In today's video, I'm going to share with you six organizations in the UK that are currently offering visa sponsorship for you if you're interested in immigrating to the UK and working as a volunteer. These companies are going to sponsor your temporary work, charity, worker visa. So you want to stay up to the very end of this video so you can learn more. temporary work charity work a visa enables you to do unpaid voluntary work for a charity and um, for you to get this visa you must meet other eligibility requirements for it and I'm going to leave a link at the bottom where you can check these requirements but generally um, this visa has replaced the temporary worker charity worker visa tier 5 and um, you must have a certificate of sponsorship from a licensed employer before you can apply to come to the UK to work. And the work you do in the UK must relate to the work of your sponsor organization. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of these licensed employers in the UK that are currently offering certificates of sponsorship for the Temporary Worker Charity UK Visa. So number one on our list is Natalie Hall. So Natalie Hall has volunteer opportunities and um, it has opportunities for part-time locally based volunteers as well as full-time residential volunteers. So as a co-worker volunteer, you may apply from any country, but you will normally be expected to pay your own travel and any visa costs. If applying from outside the UK, it will be necessary first for Natalie Hall to issue a Tier 5 Charity Volunteer Certificate of Sponsorship. And um, some volunteers may prefer to apply via the uh, Freunder portal, which provides support and an orientation program. But um, my advice for you is to go through the Tier 5 Charity Volunteer Certificate of Sponsorship that Natalie Hall will issue you with. So several residential volunteers are usually taken at the end of August each year for a full 12 month stay. And um, these co-workers are provided with boarding and lodging. You will live and work in one of the houses, giving care and support to the residents after completing a comprehensive induction training. And the main duties take place around daily housework, preparation of morning and evening meals, and assisting residents with personal care. There is also the opportunity to spend time in craft workshops, to participate in Natalie Hall's festival and cultural life, for which musical co-workers can be a great asset and to support social and recreational activities. A driving license is very helpful, but it is not essential. So a volunteer opportunity with Natalie Hall can provide a fulfilling gap year before embarking on a study or career path, but might also be an ideal first step towards pursuing a career in social therapy or pedagogy. So prospective co-workers may apply directly to the Natalie Hall office at any time for the forthcoming August and then they will be sent further information and asked to return an application form with other details. Very occasionally there are positions available at other times of the year. If so, they will be advertised on the website. So I would encourage you to apply as early as possible so you can get on the August um, cohort that they will be taking in. We on our list of uh, employers in the UK currently offering certificates of sponsorships for the charity worker visa for those who want to immigrate to the UK as volunteers is Camp Hill Clanabogan. So Camp Hill Cl Cl Clanabogan is interested in those who have just finished school and would like to take a gap year or people who are studying and are looking to deepen their skills or people who are simply looking for an alternative lifestyle. So volunteering at Klana Bogan, you will be asked to help in the houses, workshops, that is weavery, ceramics, bakery or woodwork or on the land. 
that is farm, garden, or estate, and to contribute to the community in a variety of ways. They all share necessary tasks of cooking, cleaning, and housework. The momentary needs of the community will determine where you will be asked to work, but they will do most, they will do their utmost to accommodate your preferences as they want your experience to be rich and meaningful. So if you'd like to apply as a volunteer co-worker, please apply. I'm going to leave a link at the bottom in the description box below this video. And you can also send them an email if your questions have not been asked or answered in the FAQ page. So I am currently on the FAQ page for Camp Hill Klanaboga. And if you check down here, there's a question about, let me see, can I apply if I do not live in Europe? If you are a citizen of a country outside the UK or Republic of Ireland, you will require UK entry clearance. You can only apply for this once you have been accepted and invited by Klanabugan. As a prospective volunteer, you will apply for entry clearance to UK immigration under the temporary work charity workers route. As part of the information which the community will send you, they will provide a unique certificate of sponsorship in brackets a number that you will need to apply for your visa. Your visa will be valid for working and living in Klanabugan alone only and will limit your stay to 12 months maximum. Klanabugan will send you guidance on how to apply for your visa. At the end of the visa period, you will have to return to your home country. But should you wish to stay for a further period with Klanabugan or a different UK community, then you will need to make a new UK visa application from your home country. Such a further stay in the UK may or may not be granted. So in terms of payment, you will receive free accommodation, food, and a small allowance to cover personal needs whilst in the UK. And uh, your travel costs to and from Klanabugan are normally your responsibility. Accommodation is provided within the community. You will live in a home with a house coordinator, people with learning disabilities and other volunteers. You will have a bedroom to yourself, but are likely to share a bathroom. So to apply to join, you will simply enter your name, your email address, and um, uh, choose whether you'd like to apply for support, uh, whether you'd like to join as a long-term vol volunteer co-worker or as a short-time volunteer co-worker. And then you can use the space there to ask any questions or to provide um, additional information in support of your application to the community. Number four on our list of um, employers in UK currently offering certificates of sponsorships under the Tire 5 UK Temporary Worker Charity Worker Visa is large in the UK. And I've talked about this um, organization in my previous video. So Lush currently hires assistants from a range of backgrounds and at varying stages in life. Some of the assistants stay for a short time and move to another country with a new outlook. Some stay with Lush for years in different worlds, having found belonging in a new way of living. Nobody lives empty-handed. So living in a Lush community as an assistant is an intense experience that requires a big commitment. It asks you to immerse yourself in a lively community and you slow down at the same time. It brings routine and the unexpected. You live in an alternative, inclusive model of society while gaining a deep understanding of social care in the UK today. You'll develop deep, meaningful connections with individuals and also gain a community for life. So in terms of um, why you need to move to the UK for Lush, um, here they say that their international assistants join them from a range of backgrounds and at varying stages in life. And um, you'll have the opportunity to, to develop your skills, your soft skills, deepen your spirituality and explore a new part of the world. As an international assistant, you will usually spend 12 months living in a community with people with and without learning disabilities. And there are two visas you can apply for if you'd like to come to the UK to join Lush, either the Tire 5 Work Visa or the Youth Mobility Scheme. And down here is a link that you can use to apply, and I'm going to leave the link in the description box at the bottom of the screen. So you can see here you can join Lush as a support worker. 
that is um, residential living support assistant. And these roles are open to anyone from the UK, EU citizens who have existing permission to work in the UK, and they are able to sponsor a Tier 5 temporary charity worker visa for international applicants, including EU citizens. Full training, accommodation, and housing expenses, food, 30 days holiday, and a monthly living allowance of £343 is provided. To, prov to find out more about this opportunity, download the job description here, and I'm going to leave a link at the bottom. So offers of this role are subject to receipt of three positive references, a complete work history form, ID checks to confirm the right to work in the UK, all visa processing requirements, and a satisfactory enhanced DBS check slash police check. Completion of a three-month probationary period is essential for confirmation in post. This role is for one year. And um, for those from the UK and with the right existing right to work in the UK at the end of year one, where possible, they will offer a residential support assistant role within the community for a further year or more. Yeah? Um, next in our list of uh, organizations in the UK currently offering, so this is the, sorry, this is the Lush Living Assistant Application Form um, suitable for a Tier 5 visa only, and you will note that you're not able to save this form for completion at a later date. We estimate it takes about 40 minutes to complete this form. There are eight sections to the form, and Lush recommend that you have all the relevant information you need about your training qualifications and employment history available before you start to complete the form. They expect detailed answers to the questions in sections three, that is education and training, section four, occupational history, and section five, self-assessment. So this is the form that you will need to fill um, to be considered for a large living assistant position. Number five in our list of employers in the UK currently offering certificates of sponsorship under the Charity Worker Visa is YMCA Fairton Manor. So this is the brochure on their volunteer program and um, they encourage you to volunteer to help support happy, healthy lives for all. So Enabling young people to grow and thrive is only made possible with the help of fantastic volunteers from around the globe. So if you can help add the sparkle to everything they do, then you are welcome to volunteer with YMCA. Your role will be to ensure that all visitors to YMCA Fairton Manor have an experience that is really embodies all of their values that is welcoming, active, listening, inspiring, caring, and exciting. During your time with YMCA, you will act as a host to visiting groups, leading activities and games, running even, evening entertainment, ensuring the smooth running of their dining room, singing at campfire, playing in the mud with their toddler groups, welcoming families to events, being a pro at doing the YMCA dance routine, and generally making a huge difference to the community. Behind the scenes, you will ensure the smooth running of the large operation from helping to look after the beautiful woodland and grassland areas, maintaining activities, helping their estates team erect tents, helping in the kitchen, making beds, and much, much, much more. So what you get in return, you will be provided with full day, tr full training and development opportunities, three meals a day, free accommodation in shared dorm style rooms, a volunteer expenses payment of £80 per week, the chance to work in a really varied community, loads of fun in the great outdoors, the chance to build friendships that last a lifetime, learn new skills to stand in good standing for many years, mentoring from the experienced staff team, the opportunity to learn about and be part of a huge international YMCA movement, YMCA uniform to ensure you feel part of the team, and fun staff and volunteer social events. So in terms of dates, the 2022 volunteer program will run from the 11th July until the 2nd of September, 2022 with applications accepted from March, 2022. So for more information, please contact the head of recruitment and welfare, Karina.Burnett at YMCA 
fg.org. Next on our list of um, companies in the UK currently offering certificates or sponsorships under the Tire 5 Charity Worker Visa Temporary Worker is um, this organization here that calls itself, what is the name? Uh, come on, Lee A.B. London. So, Lee A.B. London is a hall of residence staffed by a residential Christian community of volunteers who live, work, and worship together. Volunteers engage in Christian outreach to international students through practical hospitality and sharing the story of faith in God. Bible and discipleship training is provided through the Lee Abbey London School of Ministry. So this is a residential Christian volunteer program and um, Lee Abbey London is an acknowledged church of England community. They are looking for Christians to join their team who want to participate in Christian ministry and outreach to international students and those who want to experience life in an international Christian community with other Christians who live, work, worship, and serve together. Community members have to run the student residence and demonstrate God's love through hospitality and service. So they have opportunities with flexible starting dates throughout the year, and they normally expect community members to commit to 12 months with them. Community members receive full board and lodging, usually in shared be bedrooms, at their site in central London, including all utilities and Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi plus an allowance of £47.5 per week for subsistence purposes. Travel to London and visa costs where applicable are your responsibility. So this is a position that suits those who want to explore Christian vocational calling, feel called to share the story of what God has done in their lives and introduce others to Jesus among others. So Lee A.B. London is an A-rated sponsor organization registered with the UK Home Office. If you require a visa to come to the UK and are, are successful in your application, Lee A.B. will issue a certificate of sponsorship to enable you to apply for your Tire 5 charity worker visa. But as I already mentioned, visa costs and travel to London will be your responsibility. So this is the application form to join the team. It currently has nine steps. You will need an update photo of yourself, details of your passport, travel and funding arrangements if overseas and references. The form will probably take at least 40 minutes to complete, but at any time you can scroll to the bottom and click save and continue later. So these are some of the questions you will need to answer. Next on our list of um, companies in the UK currently offering certificates of sponsorship under the Tire 5 Charity Worker Visa is BooksToAfrica.org. So Books to Africa's International Voluntary Program allows you to gain first-hand experience in the practical operations of an international NGO, non-governmental organization, and provide you the opportunity to develop transferable skills such as teamwork, fundraising, and communication. So in terms on the International Volunteers Program work primarily at their processing center in Canberra in various support work primarily at their processing center in Canberra in various support roles as support officers and are involved in a variety of tasks, including but not limited to processing charity shop sales, tech refurbishing, marketing, fundraising. And um, for you to apply, you need to click on this link. Tire 5 Charity Worker Visa applications for Books to Africa are currently open. Last but not least, we have Bad Life. So if you are interested in volunteering in the Bad Life Cambridge office, please complete the expression of interest form and send to volunteer at badlife.org. If you are interested in becoming a volunteer at Bad Life Europe, please send your CV and a cover letter to europe at badlife.org. As usual, guys, please make sure to do your own due diligence before engaging with any potential employer and um, take advantage of 
the UK government register of worker and temporary worker license sponsors. This is um, the updated um, file as at 1st June 2022. Um, currently has about 50 columns. I'm going to leave a link at the bottom as well. So every worker, sorry, every employer that engages you or offers you a job or certificate of sponsorship must be licensed by the UK government. So take your time to go through this list. And obviously, as you may have noted, all the organizations I've shared with you are listed in this database. Well, guys, that's it for today in terms of seven companies in Canada currently offering certificates of sponsorship for international applicants under the Time 5 UK Temporary Worker Charity Worker Visa. As usual, if you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a sweet comment below and share it with all other people that are interested in moving to the UK as volunteers under the Charity Worker Visa. Thank you for staying up to the very end of this video. I definitely look forward to meeting you on the next one. Bye guys.